One of the big talking points has been the consolidation that everybody says is necessary in the airline industry and considerable steps have been taken towards this over the last year. So you do have Alaska and Hawaiian. You've got Lufthansa inching ever closer to ETA. You have Air France, KLM, who are buying a sizable stake in SAS. Anko van der Werf is the uh, president and chief executive of SAS. Uh, Join me now. Good to see you, sir. Richard, how are you? So, when do you become a little part of the French and the Dutch? Dutch. Yes, the Dutch. Right. Um, well, we, we expect to complete this transaction by this summer. So that's when we expect to emerge from our restructuring process, um, probably somewhere this summer, July, August. And that's when our France KLM would indeed, as part of a bigger consortium, take 19.9% stake did, in SAS. What was it? I've sort of asked you before, but never quite got to it. What was it about that deal, rather than standalone, that you, you liked? Because you took the company into bankruptcy, uh, protective bankruptcy. Why did you choose them? Well, I think really for us, this was the best deal on the table because that European consolidation indeed needs to happen. I think as a whole, Europe has never been that profitable entity that, for instance, the United States is. And when you look at the United States Airlines, they do invest a lot in consumer and customer. They do invest in that infrastructure overall. And I think Europe as a whole has been lagging. It's been lagging, but you, you've lost your independence. Was it inevitable that you were going to have to go with a group, whether it be IEG or Lufthansa? Or you probably, you probably I, I think for many in Europe, of those mid-sized airlines, call it, right? Even look KLM 20 years ago, right? Good airline, well run, still part of something bigger. And you can really make the case that it's been good for KLM. I think that these size airlines, SES, 130 aircraft, at the, call it fringes of Europe, there is a lot to be said for being part of something bigger. OK. I, when do you expect to be fully taken over by Ben Swift? Well, that's a question really for Ben. There is a core option. Ben and Air France KLM have been very public about that. So that's all known in the deal. In a number of years, Air France KLM could call. That's a question really for Air France KLM. We are focused on SES because in that 19.9 scenario, right. we are still competitors. OK. You're, so, you're, you're still competitors, but you expect to stay on. We, I, I, personally, yes. I do expect to stay on. Right. And the other shareholders, and the other, I mean, the other interests, the, the former government interests, the, the whole yeah. range of options, what happens yeah. to them? Denmark as a state will stay on, so Norway and Sweden are out or will step out of SES, Denmark will stay on, private equity will come in, and private equity will actually be the largest shareholder in the new isn't SES. This a, isn't this a bit uh, um, clunky, if you'll pardon it? You've got a government, private equity, and another large carrier group. I think there's a lot of alignment of interest here. For Denmark, of course, right. with a big hub, they're also part owner of the airport of Copenhagen. For them, the connectivity of the country, the job creation of those two job centers is very important. For Air France KLM, you would think, right, given the co-option, that European consolidation is also in their mind. So, how much more consolidation do you expect elsewhere? And who? Go on. Be naughty. <laughs> be naughty. <laughs> We're no, in the Gulf. Be naughty. Uh, yeah. No, no. I, I do think that another round has to happen. I do think that for the greater good of the industry, it does need to happen. Look, I remember my brother sending me an article in 1999. I was about to start a month later, on the 1st of January 2000, by European CEOs saying, consolidation is coming. That's almost 25 years ago, Richard. And yes, a few things have happened. But look at the size and look at the overall state of Euro European airline business. I still think that another round has to happen. And the regulators, the, the commission, are just going to have to learn to live with something. But, I mean, look at the difficulties of Lufthansa ETA, for example, over the transatlantic. And you've got IEG and uh, Europa. And you've, we've got, we haven't even got to TAP, which is on the blocks as well. It's not going to be easy. Uh, that's up to, in the end, also the European Commission to have a good look at. I'm looking at it from right. a pure European mobility perspective. When I look at airlines, for instance, the right. size of SES, at the call it outskirts of Europe, I think we are really very well off in a bigger group. Well, now, now once you've got all the, the ownership and all that sorted out, what do you want SES to be? Because isn't it a time, because that's the moment when you turn your attention to 
running the business. Run, well, you're being an airline, yep. which you're doing anyway. I, I yep. grant you that. But that's when you can focus on the yeah. product and what you want it to be. What yep. do you want it to be? Yeah, brilliant. So thank you. So look, 8 million euro bonus passengers, right, or customers that we have. We have that loyalty in a very beautiful part of the world that is also known to sustainability, right? We are really core to our sustainability region right in the world and i think that is something that scs is known for so we will drive that we will drive again that very clear customer focus agenda digitalization the, the north of europe scandinavia as a whole is known for those things we want to be a very strong part of something bigger we want to be our own airline that runs and connects really scandinavia with the world and i think we can do that First, still, of course, as part of a mm -hmm. consortium, right. and then as part of potentially, ask our friends KLM, something bigger. Good to see you. Very kind Richard. of you for coming out Thank this you. late at night. And Pleasure. it's still nice and warm and toasty out here. It's, it? it's quite nice, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> bit, bit warmer than where uh, your core markets are. We have had a fantastic month, 25 degrees. You, you should much. come and visit in the Thank summer. You Thank much. you.